Hey, what's up you guys? John from Old Running Farm here. Thanks for joining us. In today's video, we're gonna show you how we are trying to deal with some of the moisture in our chicken runs. Now, we have two runs, um, and we're about to have a little bit more than that, um, and they just get soaked with rain and water. It's probably due to the drainage that we have here. It's not very good. So our friend over at Welcome to Chickenlandia, which if you have chickens or are interested in chickens and you don't watch her channel, what are you doing? You should definitely go check her out. She suggests we try this uh, compressed pine pellets. So these are supposedly really absorbent. Um, they look just like our pellet fuel. Um, and so I guess they're, they're really made for horse bedding, uh, but apparently they're really, really absorbent. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these and we're gonna kinda lightly spread them out. We're gonna see uh, what it does because we had a big rainstorm just yesterday. It rained all day. So we're gonna put them down and see if that absorbs some of the moisture. Um, and then we are looking at possibly putting some wood, uh, some wood chips on top of them to kind of hold everything together. We'll see how it works out. Um, but so for right now, Catherine's gonna go through and uh, spread this out. So the majority of our moisture problem happens right at the entrance to the coop and around this pallet that I'm sitting on where we keep our two waterers. So we're hoping that these like highly trafficked areas, once we have the pellets down, will really absorb a lot of the moisture, keep down the smell, eliminate any bug problems. I mean, it's winter now, so we don't have any bug problems, but this is the idea going forward. We're gonna see how it goes and report back. Pepper's doing a little bit of inspection. Pepper, what do you think, much drier? Pepper, this bedding is for horses, not for cows. dog just a pain in the ass. so it has started breaking down a little bit um, and it's definitely absorbing moisture because previously we would just put like hay down on top of it which would kind of just stay there and get gross so this is nice that it's actually um, it's actually doing a good job of absorbing moisture because even like this morning like you would step right well, here. We can compare it to this. Right. So. By the way, do you like John's shoes? Walmart Croc special, baby. <laughs> Can't even see his feet. Yeah. What? <laughs> okay. So. All right. So here we are a week later, and this is what we got. So you can see, it's all kind of disintegrated. This is what it looked like when it started. These are a little bit different, but. So this is basically what it looked like when it started and now it's like this, you know, 
It's almost like sand, kind it is, of. It is almost like sand. So it's and and so like I guess and you know the chickens have kicked them all over the place. Um, but overall, this has been amazing. Um, it absorbs so much of the moisture, and it's so it's a week later, and it's rained twice. Yesterday it was misty and foggy all day, and then it rained all day on like Thursday or something like that. And this is nice and solid. You know, previously this would have been a disgusting, rainy, soaked mess, but now it's actually uh, pretty nice. Oh. <laughs> so I would say to anybody out there, if you've got a messy coop, then you should absolutely get these pine pellets. They're like five bucks a bag, and you know, I think we just put two. Three, I think I put bags. three bags in this one, two in the other one, and I put two in the alpaca. So we put three bags in here, and it's it's lasted really well. And I can't, I don't foresee us needing another bag, you know, soon. Uh, so I would definitely check it out. Well worth it. Big thanks to Dahlia over at uh, Welcome to Chickenlandia. We'll put a link to her channel in the description below. Um, you should definitely check her out. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Please give us a like, leave us a comment, let us know what you think. As always, please subscribe. Thanks for stopping by. Bye! By the way, we go live every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time.